Whether you have a gun or not, you need to know how to fight to defend yourself. Hi everyone, this is John. With today's active self-protection lesson, I'm not 100% positive where this one comes from, so if you have more information, put it in a comment and I will add it to the description. This one shows an armed robbery that goes really badly for the armed robbers, but it is a very scary gunfight. Teaches us the importance here of fighting against multiple attackers, about having skills not only on your feet, but on the ground, and having the emotional fitness to stay in the fight long enough to win it. We don't get a lot of details here, but you can see the armed robber come in with his gun out. And what we're gonna see here in a second is somebody decides to fight him and they end up entangled on the ground for that guy's gun. Now there are multiple attackers as you can see here, but our good guy ends up with his gun in the fight and you can see the gun from the bad guy there that's on the ground. And our defender is able to fight both of those guys off and the first guy and keep his gun away from him and get the second guy off of him and here's how this one ends everybody now our website has eight lessons for everyone however i want to talk about some of the most important ones here and the first one is being able to fight from your back you know those grappling skills those empty handed skills incredibly important even for firearms carriers because some fights do go to a grappling distance some fights do go to the ground so you got to be able to defend yourself I think that this defender did a good job here of using his legs. You see him use his legs to gain the distance to get his gun truly in the fight. A firearm is a distance tool. So he used his legs to get that second guy off of him so that he couldn't get hurt or couldn't get hurt as much and use his firearm effectively. So you can see the firearm from bad guy number one. So he was able to get that gun away from him and at least get him hurting enough that he wasn't thinking about his gun, which was an incredibly important aspect of winning this fight. He won the fight for that guy's gun first, then got his gun in the fight second. Now finally I want to talk about follow-up here. They left this guy here and I don't know if they can just verify that he's completely out of the fight, but you can see they left his gun there and then got away. Secure that firearm if you possibly can. At least kick it as far away from the guy as you possibly can in case he were to come back around and represent as a threat. All in all, this defender did a great job. Shows us about the importance of grappling skills if we're going to cover our ASP.